What's up, YouTube? Back with another video. What day is it today? It is Wednesday, August 11th, 2021. Gorgeous day out here today. Um, it is very, very, very humid. It is scorching hot. 83 degrees here today, but it feels like 150. Anyway, the reason I'm making this video is because I have another little bit of information that I wanted to share with you guys. And it just so happens to be very, very important. For the last two years, I have been experiencing stomach and digestive issues that multiple medical family doctors, family physicians, primary care physicians, whatever the hell you want to call them, um, hernia specialists, urologists, and other specialists, medical specialists, have not been able to correctly diagnose. What am I talking about here? So about December of 2019, I started feeling some very, very, very strange symptoms, right? Um, I wouldn't even be, be able to begin telling you what my symptoms were. They are so complex that I wouldn't be able to put it in words. I'm gonna try, but um, you guys have to use your imagination a little bit here. Since December of 2019, and this is uh, due to a number of things, I think, um, being that I've got so much going on in my life, so much stress, so many things that I haven't been able to really talk to you guys about because it is um, pretty personal, but since December of 2019, about, I have been having this combination of a bloated pressure, um, upset, um, kind of like they're pushing down on my stomach, feeling. And this is not just either my lower stomach or the upper part of my stomach or on one side. This is a combination. Everything at times feels like it's bloated. Sometimes it feels like one part is fluttering, like there's air that's bubbling inside of my stomach. Um, sometimes it feels like they're pushing on my stomach with the palm of your hand and so I didn't know whether it was my stomach or if it was my diaphragm that's you know basically keeping me from breathing accurately right so I go see a hernia specialist I go see actually a few of them because the first guy that I visited wanted to throw me on the operating table and he was like yep you got a hernia let's go in there make the appointment and you're good to go I said hang on a second there buddy I need more studies to be done. And so I went to a different hernia specialist because I wanted to get more opinions. I'm not a puppet. You're not going to throw me on an operating table. The second guy takes ultrasounds, does all kinds of different scans. And he says, I don't know what you have. I don't know what you have, but at least he was being honest. He was telling me, I don't really know what you have. You might have to go see someone else. Maybe go see a stomach doctor who specializes in digestive issues and a number of plethora of different issues, right? So I go over to them. They gave me the same BS. They don't know what's going on. They can't pinpoint what it is. And I recently seen another doctor who told me, I'm going to take some kind of exams for a, a kind of bacteria that's going around. But I'm new to the area, so I didn't believe him. 
I still took the exam. I got blood drawn. You know, my cholesterol was high, but that's normal. I mean, not normal, but normal for me. And so I started doing my research. I said, I've had enough. I've had two years of being out of breath, specifically when I'm lying on my back. I, I was feeling like I couldn't breathe, right? So I start doing my research. I pull up a number of videos. I do research on hernias. I do an extensive amount of research in addition to everything that I had going on in my life. And I somehow stumbled upon Yakult. Yes, Yakult. The Japanese company that makes that basically bacteria drink. Let's, I forgot what it's called. I don't. I should have brought my phone here to tell you guys. But that, it's that bacillus uh, type of bacteria. So your stomach is uh, composed of bad and good bacteria, right? So if the bad bacteria outnumbers the good bacteria, that's when you start having digestive issues. So I said, I mean, I've already invested so much money in seeing different doctors. I've set up appointments. I've wasted all this time. I've changed my diet. You know, I couldn't even, I got to the point where I couldn't even run to keep my cholesterol in check. I mean, it, it was just one thing after the other. And so I read about the occult and how a lot of people with bloating issues uh, or having the feelings of being bloated um, we're experiencing after drinking this Yakult, right? I've, of course, I've heard about it. Everybody, for the most part here in America, has, has heard about Yakult in some way or form. So I said, screw it. I'm going to the store and I'm going to pick up a 12-pack of these little things, right? Because I know every time I see them at Walmart or whatever other store, Albertsons, for those out on the West Coast, you always see them in little packs, Um of six or 12 packs and so i bought two six packs is a total of 12 and i started taking them about a week ago and i have to be honest ever since i started taking these yakult every day incorporating them in the morning time and then at night when i haven't had anything to eat or drink i haven't had my coffee i haven't had breakfast i haven't had dinner as soon as I wake up, I get out of bed, I brush my teeth, I take a shower. Actually, before I take a shower, I'll, I'll pound, kind of like a tequila shot, one of these Yakults, right? I'll drink one and then I'll jump in the shower. That way it gives time, you know, for it to run through my, uh, my uh, digestive tract. And um, it has been absolutely phenomenal you guys know that i only get on here if i tell you or if i give you something that i've experienced now keep in mind i'm not a medical doctor i'm not any kind of specialist i'm not an even i don't even work in the medical field but what i can tell you is that it worked for me my stomach literally because i i'm one who has a six-pack or has has always had a six-pack and my stomach got to the point where it was literally bloated for no reason. I didn't drink alcohol anymore. I didn't eat uh, bad things. I always, you know, exercised. I always kept, you know, a good amount of salt and sugar and, and fats. And, and I, I kept it under control because of the issues that my parents have had. Health issues that my parents have had over the past few years. Right? And so I kept reviewing all these videos that all these doctors were making about your cult. And, and I'm just giving you one example of a probiotic. There are organic, top of the line probiotics that you guys can take, that you guys can buy, maybe spend a little bit more money on um, to be able to be, you know, to, to take care of your system. But I, again, I just wanted to come on because I started taking them last week and I immediately, within, I think it was a day or two, the bloating that I've had for two freaking years has gone away. And 
that has opened up so many opportunities for me to get back in the gym, for me to start lifting weights, for me to start running, for me to be able to eat the foods that I want, maybe incorporate a little bit of meat because I completely had cut out meat. And I can't tell you how excited I am that I actually gave this a shot because I, like I said, I've always heard of you cult, but it was always like, ah, you know, is it really beneficial for you? Or are they just trying to throw things at you? If you guys have experience with your cult and you guys have tried it for yourselves and it has made you feel better or has had any kind of health improvement on your life of any kind, please drop comments down below because I want to make this information available to those who were suffering like I was, who didn't have the information available to them and who could have came up with a solution on their own a long time ago. I think it's a complete shame that I've seen numerous doctors and numerous health professionals and numerous specialists and none of them were able to give me a straight answer. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope to read your comments and build a community of information on here. Um, information is everything. And so, again, if you guys have any experience, drop a comment down below so that I can know, um, you know, what your experience was. That's it for today. We'll see you with the next video.